<laughs> hand sanitizer, the new normal. We are on Facebook Live. I'm still figuring this whole thing out, but I'm glad you've joined me. And if you're not joining me now, I hope you see this later. But um, we are trying to figure out what we're supposed to do now as a church. And, and we're standing in the Life Center. Um, it's usually empty on Thursday nights about this time. We usually get a little bit more crowded later for some of our Bible studies. But it's going to stay empty for a while now. We've got a lot of space in here. I'm not, not quite sure what we're going to do. But it's a reminder to me that the church's work happens outside the building anyway. It happens once we go out the doors. And for a time, these doors aren't going to be open to come in. But they... We're out there in the world, and we can still um, find ways to, to serve and to, to share and to be um, God's people, the church in the world. And it's just going to take some new learning and some new ways to figure that out. And one of the ways we're going to do it is right here on, um, on, on the Facebook Live and a bunch of the other things that are happening. Um, today, um, our church staff was in the office um, with a couple of volunteers making phone calls. We're going through our list of the whole... Um, um, congregation, if we have your phone number, we're trying to call you to make sure we do have a phone number and a good email, and to make sure you're all right. If there's anything we can do for you, we're calling everybody um, on that whole list. And if for some reason um, by by Monday you haven't by Monday late you haven't been called, I'll, we'll do another Facebook thing and say we finished making the calls and somehow we missed you. Um, perhaps we don't have your right phone number. We'll ask you to call the church, but but when we call them. Pick up if you need anything. Please um, tell us what's going on, and um, we're happy to help in any way. But um, that's a big deal to make sure we have your best phone number and your best email, and that we're, that we're doing whatever we can to reach out to you. Again, I just want to tell you we have a, a live worship on, at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. The band will be um, in an undisclosed location. Um, that means please don't try to come see us in person. We are not doing in-person worship. Um, but we will be live on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. And all of those links can be found um, on our webpage at lrumc.net. Um, but if, if you have any other questions about that, you can certainly call the church office. And, and we'll be happy to, to help you um, figure out a way to, to, to reach that and to get on for that. But that's what we're doing. We're also looking forward to next week. Um, um, we've had these midweek Lenten services coming together as churches. Those have been canceled um, for the rest of Lent and right on through Holy Week. But we are going to hold a midweek Lenten service right here in our, well, actually, we'll be doing it in the sanctuary. Again, don't come. You are not invited to come. We hate to say that. It's a hard thing for a church to say. But you are invited to come and join us online. We'll have some music and we'll have a message for that midweek Lenten service. Again, we're excited about the opportunity to do these things. But again, right now we're sitting in a big cavernous space called the um, Life Center. And the best thing about having this kind of space is that, you know, that last Sunday I juggled for our kids, but I was afraid I might hit them. Now I have all of this space. And the only person I could hit would be Lillian, who's on the camera. Um, and she might get hurt. And so if, she, if, if, the, if the camera goes blurry, that's because the, 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 um, the juggling pin is oh, come at her. I can't even hold them together right here. But, but this is the time of, uh, of trying to figure out what to do next, how to, how to juggle what, what's going on. But right now, we're not juggling our schedule so much as juggling our expectations. We're juggling what's going to come next. How are we going to, to make it all work? What about what's going to happen next week or next month? Or, and, it's, and it gets kind of hard and we kind of like, we feel like we have it all up in the air and we're not quite sure what to do. And so it feels like we're juggling. And it feels like, oh, we're getting really close to the camera. And see, Lily's going, ah, cut it out. But it feels pretty tough. And you're wondering, can he even juggle? I don't know, can he? But I guess a little bit, not that good. Oh, go back in the camera. Here we go, we're going to juggle. And this is like one of my few parlor tricks. I can make a pretty mean paper airplane too, but it's a matter of juggling expectations. And our first expectation as the body of Christ, as, as the people call Little River United Methodist Church, is to kind of put everything down, stop trying to juggle, take a deep breath, 
and know that God's with us and God is with us in the midst of this. God is walking with us. God is God is leading us. And when we come through this on the other side, whenever that is, if it's two weeks, if it's four weeks, if it's ever how long it's going to be, we are going to be better for it. We're going to be better suited to take care of each other and better prepared for whatever comes next. So again, what I want us to do, take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Pause. What I'm going to do now is say a little prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we are overwhelmed with the idea that there's a global pandemic. And global means we're a part of it, Lord. And we're not sure what to do. We're not sure what to expect. It seems like there's nothing going on here. Why do we have to stay inside, Lord? But we keep hearing the news that it's the best way to fight. It's the best way to fight a contagion that's out there. So, Lord, we pray. We pray, Lord, that as we deal with what is called social distancing, that we don't find ourselves socially disconnected one from the other. That physically we may be apart, but Lord, we pray that spiritually we will find ways to be together. And if it's for this time, technology that will bring us together, Lord, we pray that we will use this wonderful gift of technology, of social interaction and social networking, so that it glorifies you and furthers your kingdom in all that we do. We pray these prayers in Christ's name. Amen. Again, be safe, be well, and be quick to forgive. Thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow.